Yeah. Okay. So actually, l let me uh, just make one more comment here regarding since a lot of the designs are you've got a lot in one file, and then you just need to maybe either verify or modify, right? Those are two choices. Either start from scratch, modify, verify. Um, those are in a in yes. the order of complexity. If you start from scratch, you got the most work. And in between somewhere there is, well, what if we have a part library of of standard parts, like here's the pre-cut stud, here's the top plate, and so forth. That would help quite a bit. Now, do we have that anywhere? Uh, there's a little place I didn't mention called, <laughs> I should mention it, it's called the architecture part library. So if we go to uh, I'm going to share my screen for other people if they're looking at me as well. Let's see, am I share? Let me share my screen on it. There's another page, it's called Architecture Part. I just started this thing. I mean, it's an obvious thing to do. Uh, architecture Part Library. And in it, you'll see there's a few pieces of of, of <coughs> materials. There is a 2x6 short top plate. There's a 2x6 top plate. Uh, so go <coughs> go to see what's what exists there. Like the 2x4 blocking with the 2x4 the, uh, split in half. There's 8 foot lumber, 8 foot studs, 9 foot pre-cut stud. So there's a few parts and we should obviously generate keep generating this part so we this part little part library so we can pick okay we know we've got the top play we've got a pre-cut so you not just don't have to draw them from scratch that's that's obvious um, but then you'd have to put them together so ideally you would use both the library and existing wall modules like if you know you've got something that looks right uh, ideally you just verify it if it's another regular module but you just want to look out that you, you're picking from the right file and the ultimate verification is yeah if you understand it okay you know that's you can actually verify because you you remember some of the design principles and and therefore it would be very useful probably to have a design checklist like if you're designing this kind of module um, make sure you have this just a checklist it almost sounds sounds like um, that's too much like well because you have the whole procedure here's how you design it what does a checklist do well you just follow the things but the checklist is basically like a summary of the more detailed procedure so the the detailed procedure would be exhaustive and it could take a few pages so yeah I mean sometimes you do get lost in it so it is very useful if you have just a checklist maybe a small paragraph or of eight items that summarizes those five pages or so so that would be useful and probably as we go about teaching people uh, or having like a <clears throat> basically the enterprise manual I, I'm sure the enterprise manual should have that kind of material you don't want somebody to reinvent the wheel all the time you have to consider that there's people entering at various different stages for the novice that's coming in learning here's the checklist of design for me, I kind of forgot about that because, uh, oh yeah, we've got the design guide. But no, obviously, there's so many different different as assets that we can generate, and they should be they should be generated if somebody wants to use them and organized well, such as a, in a, in an enterprise manual. So that's that's the summary of that. So start with existing modules to replicate, modify existing ones, or and then um, just like download uh, and then piece it together yep. and then do the measurements, right? Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Or you can go with the route, here's the part library, we're actually downloading the individual parts. Or, as I mentioned yeah. yesterday, there's a FreeCAD OSE Workbenches platform, and I'm going to point to that. What I'd like to see definitely happen is work Workbench platform. It's called the Workbench plat OSC Work. It must be OSC Workbench Platform. It's called OSC FreeCAD Workbenches. Here's instructions for how, within FreeCAD, you can actually program up 
a workbench, meaning that you click on a button and it appears as an, an object, the part appears in, in your working window. So that's basically a, a de facto designer. If you want to have a wall designer, here's the, you know, the house designer, you just drag and drop parts. That would be the thing to do. It's written in Python, so uh, FreeCAD is in Python, so if you, if you know Python, you can follow the instructions yes. on the OSC FreeCAD Workbenches page and actually help us do this. So we want to do this. This is like low-hanging fruit. It's not too hard to do, and it would get us right into FreeCAD. We, are, we're, we have, this is the OSC House Design Workbench. This is the wall module subsection. So what we're doing right now, oh man, someone should be working on that right now to simplify it for the future generations. So yeah, all these assets are pretty important. I think right now, um, for ourselves, if we had that right now, we can definitely take advantage of it. You just drag and drop. You don't have to worry if you drew the right part. You know it's the official no, header. Standard. Yeah, you so then we can go, say, by be, names, yeah. like, okay, header. Uh, put in the header, put in the, put in the stud, and so forth. So that, that would definitely make it easier. So definitely a, yeah. a so, case for making that happen. So, so when I'm done... Um, doing the parts i just upload right here right yeah like this upload to the thing. red link on the wiki if it's the red, red on the wiki that means there's okay. nothing there and okay. if it's blue okay. and you want to make a change of course then you click on that and then you'll ask you to upload the next version of the file so that's how it works okay so each wall is unique right like uh, not exactly unique i mean at the, the end of the day once you add all the details like if you have a full house model, like if you look at a house, like you're probably not going to find a section of the house that's super identical to the next. But at the level of just the framing, a lot of them will be identical, which means yes. that you've got, like if you know that there's the same one somewhere else, the easiest thing is obviously to just take that and copy it as copy, is. Yeah, yeah. But oh, you okay. make sure that you're copying the right, like you should be able to verify it. At that point, do the verification. Uh, if somebody else did it, then maybe verify and say, oh yeah, this is good, and, and then upload it. So, depends where you're entering into a specific house design, uh, into the specific right. module. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, so it's, it is not like everything is like unique, but no, we, no. We, can, we can literally put like a copy and paste and that will be fine. Right? Yeah, a lot of it will be, yeah. that's correct. Okay, that's mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Sounds good. Uh, can I go off, off topic? Go ahead. For for a moment. Um, your YouTube channel, right? Yep. I would like to work on that if that is yeah. possible. Oh yeah. Uh, what would you like to do to it? I would like to. Uh, do Do you know those timestamps you see in other YouTube channels? Like you would see a timestamp in the description box, and you just click on it, and it's a transfer there, like as, and then and then you just play, the uh, vi video on that timestamp. I haven't seen that. And what's the? Oh, um. What's what's the use? It's basically move moving through the video. With oh, just yeah. one click of a button. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say um, oh, yeah, you see, are explaining you about wall modules, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And then you have the minutes and the seconds where it is. Okay. So you just click on that, and then it will transfer. Okay. You want me to set you up to, to the channel? How how do we do th how do we do that? What would you like? Um, I know how to do it. I can teach you actually, or so cool give me be... access, and then I'll uh, yeah. I'll just do it for you. Okay. Right. If you want to teach us how to do it, then write yeah. write it down and do a little instructional. I then... can show you a video. I can make a video for, for, yeah. uh, for a few days. Yeah, that'll be cool. And there's probably it's some cool. other videos that you can work with. And is it pretty easy to do? Yeah, right. Oh, it is. Yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah, but maybe like what you want, maybe you want to um, upgrade the videos to that, like maybe we could give you that task. Yeah, so because I was looking through your videos, you, uh, you guys have like a lot, which yeah. is good. Yes, 2,700 to be exact. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Anyway, um, so I have noticed the um, feature generation will be 
those people who want or who, who want the videos to be quick and fast right yeah so yeah, we absolutely. need to summarize each and every wow. video yeah yep so, what so is, it, is it the only way you can do that i can set you up to do that is like is there any way to share the my account or you basically have to give you the password yes there no no you don't you don't need to give, give me the password because oh, i have a youtube channel um actually so there's a option where you can put me as an editor okay so i can only edit but not delete the videos basically okay yeah yeah Oh, that'd be great. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how to do everything. And, um, Excellent. And I just want to that would let help. You know that would definitely say. add value. If you can index yeah. vi videos, yeah, you can just process a huge amount of information w yeah. much faster. Definitely. Definitely useful. Right, so yeah. please set that up. Please yeah. show me how to do that, and then we'll do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. Oh, uh, that's all the questions. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So you see, there's one more improvement to getting this, these videos for the 150 lessons up to higher quality. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, of course. No problem. No and problem. I've noticed that uh, it's very, how would you say, it's very interesting to watch as a teenage man <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> because it's. Um, it's, this is all due to me, as, as, as you know. Well, that's great. Um, I mean, that you can see that it's actually interesting. That's good. Yeah. Because I think a lot but, of people might not get it. Um, yes, there are some because I because I just joined like right in the middle. You know, mm -hmm. I I wasn't I wasn't there for the in the year side. I would say. Well, okay then. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'll work on your YouTube for it. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, that that would be great. That that would be a good addition. So that's yeah. Elijah from okay. Bahrain contributing but, yeah. and upgrading the video right. channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Right. Okay.